G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Kavlos and today we are going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions in Legends of Runeterra. We are going to be doing the 4 star Targon campaign here against Aurelian Sol and we are going to be using Gwen for today's adventure. So let's just quickly get into the relics and whatnot and get this adventure started. Uh, I am going with a level 22 Gwen as well as 3 star powers here. The Snippets of Song 2, Round Start, Summon a Ghastly Band, Needle Work, plus 1 starting mana when your leftmost attacker gains power from Hallowed, so that's the attacker to its right. I think these two are really strong powers, mainly because the Ghastly Bend here will actually progress the uh, Hallowed mechanic here really, really quickly. And the Needlework here will allow us to attack consistently and at the same time, um, you know, give a very strong buff into the units that we are attacking with. We can actually manipulate the second part here, if I'm not mistaken. What we can do is we can actually put Gwen as the second left attacking unit. That way, she will not only get the buff from her card effect, but she'll also get an extra buff from the Needlework here. So this is definitely a really, really good power to have. It incentivizes us to attack, essentially. So in terms of the champion level here level 22 that means i'm gonna be missing out on the level 28 40 starting next to self as still as the level 30 rare relic slot 3 but i think it should be fine the gwen is fairly strong so i think i'm happy to start with only the hero's welcome okay so let's quickly head back out to the relics here i am going with a troll king's crown and a guild force i think these two are really good items simply because the allies of overwhelm could be really really useful considering the fact that we are going to get a lot of buffed up units because of the hallowed so that way we could essentially deal consistent nexus damage every time we attack the guild force here will be a really Really, really good item to have as well because that actually pairs up really really, really well with hello um, what we can do is we can actually attack twice with the gwen here and that will trigger the hello twice essentially first time with the scout Second time with the regular attack, and that's gonna be like what hallowed in three hallows in one round, if I'm not mistaken, if I got my math correctly there. But I think you guys get the idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back out and we are gonna go ahead and get this adventure replayed. All right, we're all loaded in. Let's see what the final boss Aurelian Sol is packing here. The most important thing is that he is packing in power overwhelming, which is kind of manageable. Last thing I want here is an un un unyielding determination. That would be extremely uh, bad, I would say. <laughs> okay, so Yasuo, Yasuo has the unyielding determination. And Caitlyn here has unstable inventory and Poppy has perfected mana flow. Okay, so looks like Yasuo might be a problem, but I think we should be able to deal with it by that point. So I think we should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and head to the first power node here. Wow, this is big. Round start stun the strongest enemy is amazing. I'm gonna pick this up, no question about it. So we are gonna head to Poppy. Okay, the first game here, we can actually start with this hand. I think we'll reroll the atrocity. Uh, we should be able to start with everything else because we will have two mana, so I think it's fine. And of course, we get back the atrocity. <laughs> Right, let's put on the Phantom Butler here. Uh, we're gonna block the Protoporo here. That way we take less damage in future turns. Uh, we're not gonna sacrifice the 5-1. Because it's fearsome, I would like to see if we could get the attack with it. Okay, I believe Poppy is going to come on here, so I think it might be more worth it just to attack straight up. Duck of Miss On. Alright, so the stun was really useful. So as you can see, Poppy is stunned. Uh, Gwen won't really do anything here aside from probably be a blocking unit, which I think is fine. Or I think we should probably do a smarter play here, which is to play the Chronicle of Ruin, kill this Ephemeral Ghastly Band, revive it, and that way we could progress the Hallowed even further. There we go. We got a plus three, and we can block more units this way. Alright, what we're going to do is we can actually put the 5-5 five five here. No, actually we should block the 3-3. Tree tree. Uh, let's put the 2-1 here. Put this guy here. And we only take 2 damage, cool. Right, 
Right, uh, Gwen on. How do you get it? Plus four, plus five. One second. Uh, oh, okay, heroics. Round start, grant the four strongest ally. Okay, okay. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> Alright, so let's attack with Gwen here. Trigger the scout. And I think you'll see the game plan. Alright, so as you can see, Gwen got that first hallowed, which is now why she's a 8-5 and she levels up as well, which is cool. And if we attack again, like so, Gwen should get even more buffed up because of the hallowed. As, and as you can see, she goes up to a 19. Right, so as you can see, that's why I say Gwen is probably a really strong, you know, pick into the Earl and Sol run. I think what can actually make this run better will be the fact that picking, if we could pick up a, a rally power, actually. That way we could consistently attack every turn, and we don't have to bring on Gwen on an attacking turn. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick up the Scuttle guys with the Overwhelm. I think it's the best out of the set, so I think I'm happy with that. Because a lot of units are gonna die because of the uh, Ghastly Band. I think the Scuttle guys would essentially be able to come on really early if we could bring him on early, of course. So let's go ahead and head to the Support Champion here. Uh, LeBlanc, Heimerdinger, and Malphite. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the LeBlanc. Damage is definitely really, really nice, and the Bloody Business is cool as well. Right, so we're gonna take on Fiora here. Unyielding Determination should be fairly manageable because we have the stun. Uh, because mainly I want the shop note here. Honestly, we could get better power, so we are gonna head towards Fiora. I would okay, we're gonna reroll these, uh, because these are kind of expensive. We will keep the scuttle, guys, because we could definitely get the cost reduction on it. Much better. Oh, we get LeBlanc as well. Really, really nice. Boisterous holes on. Let's run the attack. We end the round. This guy dies. Scuttle guys gets a cost reduction. Everything's going to plan. Uh, I think we'll bring on LeBlanc, even though we will lose the Vampire Scepter. I think it should be fine. Time to make an appearance. And we can attack like so. Oh, actually, we should put LeBlanc here. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. She still sees damage done, which is still good. I was, I thought we could deal more damage with LeBlanc that way, but then I remembered the net damage is the same <laughs> because there were no blockers. Okay, so what we can do here is I think we'll put on the Undying. Right, I believe Fiora's gonna come on here, which is fine. We'll still drop the Gwen. Okay, so I don't think we can attack like I, I don't think we can attack with Gwen here, can we? Uh, that's seven. That's definitely not enough. Unless no, actually we can. Okay, I think I have a plan. Let's attack first. We can. We can. Okay, the AI is really smart. So my initial plan was to attack with Gwen. I was hoping that Fiora would block. And when the Fiora does block, we play a bloody business here. We strike it with a LeBlanc or we strike it with a Gwen. That way, you know, the Fiora will guarantee a it will guarantee will be guaranteed to die. But apparently, you know, it's too smart for that. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to resolve this. It's gonna take the 2-2 here, but it's okay. We can actually play the bloody business if we want to, but it's not gonna do too much damage, I think. Uh, it's fine. We'll still do it regardless. We have the. We are in control here. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. And as I'm saying that, I actually forgot that we attacked with the scout the first time. That's why we still have the attack token. And right now we're gonna attack again and get the win. Was 
inevitable. Okay, so we get threat the Nido, kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to an enemy and draw one. Crumble kill an ally to kill a unit or destroy a landmark, get an empty mana gem. I think this looks like the best option regardless because we can kill an ally and then uh, deal damage equal to its power to an enemy. Actually, hold on. This could be not that great because the only ally I'm thinking of killing is the uh, Boisterous, well not Boisterous Souls, but the Ghastly Bend. But we could also kill other Hallowed allies as well, which isn't a problem. Um, you know what? I think we'll pick this up. This should be fine. Okay, so we are going to head to the shop here. We'll grab a power, slow but steady. When you play a slow spell, copy it onto the same targets. I don't think we have too many slow spells at the present moment, right? Uh, I don't think so, if I'm going to be honest. Atrocity. Atrocity is fast. Uh, yeah, we don't have any slow spells at the present moment. So slow but steady isn't too great, so I think we're just going to leave that for now. I don't want to waste the goal as well. And we have a fallen feline here. It's fine. So I guess we're going to take on Karma. Always... Okay, we get a Gwenyo, which is great. We must bear in mind that the Karma battle, we always start with 10 mana. So this is definitely a good start. Uh, I think I'm happy with this. We are just going to accept this. Maybe we could have rerolled the Thorn of the Rose, but I think the stun is going to be important. Let's see, let's bring it on first. Everything's easier behind a mask. Peace begins within. Where there is life, Right, I think the stun is going to be important here. Uh, let's drop the Gwen first. I have an idea. Okay, I want to bait out the cards first because I am kind of aware this is Ionia. So that means there's the possibility of deny or nopify is kind of high. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to bait out more more stuff. We don't have enough cards to play. Uh, well, we, the cards we play are kind of high cost, so we can't really play anything. So what I'm going to do is we are going to play a Gal and just go for it and stun the Karma if we can. Okay, it's fine. It creates spells, but it's, at, you know, it's out of mana, so it's fine. We are going to resolve this first. Stun the Karma there. We are going to attack with Gwen first, I believe. Uh, no, because we are going to lose the Gwen here because we don't have the Hallow. Right, right, right. Okay, what if we do it like so? That's still not going to work. I guess we hang Gwen back, but... I don't think we are gonna do that, are we? What we have another one here, which is fine. So I think what we can do is we could, you know, play this later on. Uh, I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna attack straight up. Doesn't really matter, we have one more. We lose one here, but it's fine. As long as it keeps stunning the karma, we are safe. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to play a Chronicle of Ruin here. We will kill the Ghastly Ben, revive it. No place for the we, owe this land our we can do that again, actually. For our home. Very nice. We've dropped the Ghastly Ben here. And I think what we'll do is we'll play Bloody Business. We will kill this 5-2. Mmm... Is that the right call? No, I think this might be better. We put the 2-1 here. Put this guy here. Because the Coastal Defender will keep getting a plus 2 plus 0 whenever it's summoned, right? Uh, yeah, so w whenever it summons a unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Bloody Business here. We are going to take it out. So we'll put the 5-5 five, five and kill this guy. We'll sacrifice one of the Chroniclers. Oh, the Bloody Bay business gave everyone plus one, plus one. Hold on, let me just double check something. Uh, what happened? Oh, I think it must have been that Damasian banner thing. If I'm not mistaken, that gives a plus one, plus one. Let me, I have to double check that. I have to double check that. But yeah, let's pass the turn first. My goodness, I have no knowledge about the cards in my deck. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop the Gwen here. Wonderful world. My family was 
Alright, it doesn't matter how many times it's swap, it it's not gonna remove the barrier, so I think we can safely bring on the Gwen. Should get a buff here, cool. Ah, unless it blocks with a barrier, but it's fine, we still have enough damage, cool. We should still have enough damage here. Mm, let's put this guy here, that way we get the hallowed buff. And we should guarantee damage here, I think. Alright, cool, we still win. Take time to care for others. Alright, uh, that battle was really sloppy, I won't lie, because, you know, I wasn't really sure about too many things that were going on. Everything was going on so damn fast. <laughs> uh, but the good thing is we get the win, and I'd say that's the more important part. So we get a Phantom Butler here with a Spell Shield. I think we're gonna pick this up. So let's head to the Fallen Feline. Uh, these aren't that good cards, I would say. Frostbite enemy and all other enemies with 3 or less health, draw 1. Create 5 random cards in hand, they cost 0. Create in hand 2 copies of a random 1 cost card from your deck. Well, this could be decent in voluntary testing, so I think we're gonna pick this up. Alright, let's head to the shop again, and let's see if we could get a decent power here. Blade's Edge isn't great. I feel like I want to re-roll, but I f at the same time feel like I want to save it for one of these free power notes. Again, okay, I tell you what, we are not gonna re-roll here, so we are just gonna pass it. Actually, we will pick up a upgrade to the spell shield, uh, to the Undying here with the spell shield. And that's pretty much it. We will leave everything else, so let's head to the Caitlyn. I'm on the Caitlyn. Alright, Boisterous Host, Conductor of Mist, Phantom Butler, and Bloody Business. I think we'll reroll the Bloody Business. Okay, got a Gwen here, which is great. Uh, Phantom Butler, turn one. Right, this is elusive. This cannot stay, but chances are it's not gonna block with this guy, right? It's probably not gonna block the Ghastly Ban. We'll just attack, but, you know, I don't think it's gonna block it. Yep, as expected. This could be a problem, though, the elusive. We need to get rid of it. We must get rid of it. Caitlyn is scout here, which isn't great either. Uh, I guess what we do is we'll put on the... Put on the Conductor of Mist here, I believe. Because we need to block with something regardless. We are going to take 8 damage out of this round, so I guess we're just going to sacrifice it, it's fine. I don't like this. 4 flash bombs in there. The good thing is at least Caitlyn gets stunned, but uh, I'm a bit concerned about the flash bombs. We'll bring on the Gwen here. If only she could see me. What's it gonna do? Oh, gotcha. Crap. <laughs> oh lord, I forgot about this and I really hate this. Well, at least the good thing is we keep stunning the Caitlyn. That's probably the only beneficial part. But the elusives are really, really bad. I won't lie. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. We're gonna stall some turns here. We'll put the conductor of miss. Uh, this Ghastly Ban, we'll probably bring on the other Boisterous Host if we can. We cannot, we're just gonna have to skip the block. Have to take the 6 damage here, can't really do anything. Uh, boisterous Host on. They're probably gonna die here if I'm gonna be fought honest because of the Flash Bombs. Okay, targets only one of them, which is cool. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring on Undying first. I feel like this is gonna kill the LeBlanc. 
It's definitely gonna kill the LeBlanc. Alright, we'll still bring it on regardless. It's probably gonna kill the LeBlanc. At least we get the health back. Oh no, it kills... The 4-2, interesting. I thought we went for the LeBlanc here. <laughs> Oh well, at least we get the free attack here, I would say. Right? Yeah, we should get a free attack here. Well, not a free attack, but a really good attack here. I believe. Oh, we should have placed the Overwhelm here. That way it would have gotten a buff. Oh god, I screwed that up. <laughs> well, at least we get some kills, which is fine. Take out somebody elusive, which is decent. Okay, what we can do is we can actually play LeBlanc Sigil of Malice here. And we should be able to kill this guy. Nothing personal. Get rid of the Elusive, which is great. We trade here, which is fine, I would presume. Ghastly Ban. You dream it? I'll build it. Uh, let's kill and revive this guy. Caitlyn gets stunned again, and I hope we have enough damage here. We should have. Surprised to see me. I think so. Don't test my tolerance. All right, cool. We do. One step closer. Alright, it's a slightly sloppy battle, but we should be fine. We get an excellent buff here in the Colossal Hammer onto Gwen. I think we're gonna pick this up. Alright, I'm gonna hope we get a good power here. A rally could be great, actually. Spells cost one less, cards to draw cost one less. Ground star give your weakest ally plus three plus three. I really don't like this, we're gonna reroll. Allies of Overwhelm. Okay, so this is not great. I would have preferred a rally or something. We are gonna try to reroll again. Uh, when you summon a champion, summon exact Ephraim will call you of it. Okay, this could be good. Uh, quite simply because of the fact that we could actually summon two Gwens on one turn. And what's gonna happen is that one of the Gwen, uh, the Ephemeral Gwen is gonna die, it contributes to Hallowed, and then we could trigger Hallowed even better. Um, and, and then the Hallowed buff will actually get even bigger. So I think this will be far better. Okay, so let's head to either the Esril or the Sajuani. Both of them is Unyielding Determination, which I really don't like. Spell Chess here and Adaptatron. This is a healer node. I think we are going to head down to the Sajuani because she is, you know, uh, going to come on later on in the game. That means we have more chances to win out the game early. So I think we're going to head down towards her. Trust nothing but your okay, we got a Gwen here, which is good. So I think we are just going to reroll one of the Undyings. Gwen's here, which is fine. Uh, boisterous hose on. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. Second boisterous host. A brief engagement, but a joyous one. And I think we will let it resolve itself. Uh, I think we'll bring on the Undying here. Leave nothing standing. Right, this is what we'll do. A bit we'll minimize the damage. We'll lose some units, but it's fine. Because we have Gwen next turn. With an insane amount of Hallowed, actually. Feast tonight. 
Okay, cool. This is great. Because what we can do is, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, the Hallowed will actually be really, really big here. Because of the fact that, you know, we must remember that power again. Um, the uh, the right, the, 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 the leftmost attacker gains power... Uh, sorry, the, <laughs> this text is really confusing. When your leftmost attacker gains power from Hallowed, so does the attacker to its right. So that means this Gwen will probably get a double Hallowed as well. So that's definitely a really good thing here, I would say. Yeah, it definitely gets a double Hallowed. Amazing. Okay, so we get some good damage here. Wonderful. And you think the penetration triggers, but it's fine. We get to attack again. Let's make sure Gwen is on the left of on the right of the leftmost attacker. There we go. <laughs> and we're gonna commit it. Alright, wonderful. So we have a sapling toss, hapless aristocrat, and a decimate here. I think we're gonna pick up the... Decimate could be good. Deal 5 to the enemy nexus with the charging sigil. I like that actually. It's really brute force aggression. Um, sapling toss could be great as well. I think we're just gonna pick up the upgrade to the sapling toss. I really like the decimate, but we already have a sapling toss in the deck, and it ha I think challenger is a little bit more useful, considering we could actually fashion our chances. This is just immediate face damage. Uh, I think sapling toss is much better, so we're gonna pick this up. Right, so we have a Adaptatron and a Spells Chest. I guess we're gonna head to the Spells Chest. And we get a Forbidden Idol on the Decimate. So we probably should have picked up the, uh, what is it, the uh, the extra one damage. That way we could have dealt more damage with the Decimate that way. Um, I think what we're gonna do is, you know what, it's fine, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. The Decimate could be useful, we'll have that in our deck. Uh, one thing I forgot to check, I did mention on a check earlier, was the one of the units, the bloody business, right. Uh, what does it have? It has battle banner, give allies plus one plus one this round. Ah, okay. That was why earlier in one of the battles, I cannot remember which one, we got a buff to the units there. So that's probably from that. Okay, so good thing to know. I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to move on. We have a Tom Kench and we have a Gangplank here. I would say Tom Kench is easy to deal with, so we're going to take him on. Get a Gwen here again, which is cool. Uh, these are expensive units, however. We will reroll the Chronicle of Ruin and the Thorn of the Rose. We'll keep the Scuttle Guys. Let's pass the turn. Bring on LeBlanc next turn, I believe. LeBlanc on. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Come on, my mind. Okay, I think what we can do here is we can attack like so. Smoke and mirrors. Can we? How much hallowed are we gonna get? We are only gonna get a plus one, so that's not enough to take down this guy. Okay, so I think we're gonna hang about hang back the uh, regular LeBlanc. We'll let the ephemeral attack. What brings you here? Tom Kench on here, which is fine. Let's put on Thorn of the Rose. Might have to block with it. You are dressed to kill. <laughs> is it really so obvious? Alright, uh, we get to end around here, so we're gonna end it. That way we don't need to play the stun. Appetizers of brilliantity. Right, I'm gonna bring on bring on the Gwen here. What a strange, wonderful world. 
stand in the footprints of past long trodden. Ooh, okay. What happens if we attack? That will be... I think that will be enough to take down the Nasus, right? Hopefully. I think so. Will that be enough? Oh, that won't be enough, but it decides to block the Ephemeral. <laughs> Interesting, I thought it would block the 11.5. I'm not complaining, however. This is a, you know, uh, silly part on the side of the AI, so we're gonna accept it. Okay, what we can do here is we can actually just attack straight up, right? I think we should be able to. Mm, let's put LeBlanc first, Gwen next, and then everyone else. We should win here. We definitely do. Right, so we get more upgrades here. We get a additional ephemeral to LeBlanc, which could be great. Uh, sapling toss summon a sapling at the next round start. 50% chance to create a copy of meat in hand that costs zero this round. Trifarian Assessor with the Radiant Plate Armor, we're not even going to consider that. So it's either the upgrade to the LeBlanc or the sapling toss. I feel like Gwen is going to be, you know, um, core or quintessential to our victory here. So I know LeBlanc is good and this could be decent on her, but I think we're not going to pick this up because the last thing I want is to give myself too, uh, too much LeBlancs, too many LeBlancs, and essentially we can bring on a Gwen, which will probably be detrimental in the long run. So I think since we need to pick up a reward here, we are going to pick up the Sapling Toss. All right, let's head to the shop. Get a power, something good. We get when someone an ally granted a random keyword. It's not bad. We are going to pick this up. I don't think we need any cards here. Uh, pickaxe to the Undying is fine. We'll pick this up for sure. We'll pick up one of it. That way every card has the same buff. And we are going to head to either the Hero of Magus or the Item Chest. I think we head to the Item Chest. So we're going to take on Lee Sin. Okay, kind of expensive here. So we're going to reroll everything. Much better. Well, not exactly much better, but at least we get a Gwen in the start. <laughs> uh, let's attack with a Ghastly Ban here, I would presume. Yeah, we need stuff to block next turn, so I think we have to play the Sapling Toss here. Uh, okay, we can play another one, I would presume. Do we want to play another one? You know what? Let's not play another one. It's fine. We'll commit this. Might need to block with stuff in case you know the Lee Sin summons units. Uh, let's put on the Thorn of the Rose as well. Right, we'll sacrifice this guy. Okay, that's a really weird buff, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Let's put on the Sapling Toss again, see if we could get a, another one next turn. Uh, we actually get a Doubling Dice one, so I think we're going to play it again. Alright, that means we have two Saplings next turn, which is good. My spirit, not my Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. Gwen on. This is a chance for me to leave my life. And we attack like so. Conflict is all in the mind. Alright, it's fine, you can stun it. Uh, we should still be able to get the win this turn, I believe. Mine will be stronger. 
Right, we can attack like so. Let's drag the two one here. We'll drag this guy here. Uh, actually, hold on. This might be better. We that way we could take out both these units. We'll put this guy here. We'll put this guy here, and we'll drag this guy here. So we should be able to kill them all. Yep. Excellent. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. All right, we fill our hand with too many cards here. It's gonna destroy the next card, but it's okay. We're gonna have to summon some units here just to get rid of them. Perfect. We have the stun. We'll stun the four six horn of the dragon. I've had enough of you. We're going to sacrifice this guy. I fight with the dragon's fury. My friend. Okay, I'm going to bring on the undying here. Right, Gwen on. Whoa, that's 16 damage here. Um. Hmm, okay, so we can't really circumvent that. Alright, alright, it's fine. We're gonna resolve that then. I really don't like this spell, the Dragon's Rage. We'll let it resolve. Hmm. Well, at least we get rid of a lot of the. At least we get rid of the mana there. I guess what we can we have to do is. Uh, I think we should still win here though. Let's bring on the Undying again, just to be sure that we get the victory, just to guarantee it. Let's uh, put Gwen second again, and we're gonna attack with everything else. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's put this Ephemeral. First, I believe. How much damage will she get? I want to restore as much health as I can. This is going to be 6, and if we put her second... This is going to be 9. Okay, so this is far better. Alright, so we need to bear in mind about our health then. So I think we should be I think we should still be fine. Gwen is gonna be able to, you know, lifesteal first, and I think we should be okay. Uh let's see. Thread the needle, invoke here, vengeance, kill a unit with plunder, spirit of leech, kill an ally, draw two with quick attack. I think this should be fine. We'll get another upgrade to the thread the needle. We are not using it, however. Or maybe the vengeance could be better with the plunder. Okay, you know what? I think the vengeance is better because it's a definite kill, so I think it could be good. Alright, let's head to the item chest here. We are gonna get an upgrade to... Okay, this, so this is not bad. A Vampiric Scepter on the Phantom Butler. It's not gonna restore much health, but, uh, you know, I will take any life steal that I can, so we're gonna pick that up. Right, let's head to the healer here. Take back the 7 health. And we are gonna take on Yasuo. Right, let's reroll these two. Actually, we'll keep the Sapling Toss. Mm, I think we can even reroll the Thorn of the Rose. It should be fine. I really like a Gwen here, if possible. And we get a LeBlanc. <laughs> Unfortunate. But our luck is gonna run out regardless. Alright, let's put on the Phantom... Do we want to put on the Phantom Butler? Yeah, let's put on the Phantom Butler. Oh, we can't sack that guy. I forgot. Yasuo has the stun ability, right? Yeah, force in this attack stun the player's weakest unit. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to skip the block then. I really don't want to sacrifice this guy. Because this is a fearsome. Could be important to have him on.
All right, get a Gwenya, which is good. Uh, let's actually bring on a LeBlanc. Oh, wait, Yasuo's gonna come on here. Yeah, it's fine. Let's, uh, I think we can safely attack. We should be okay. Surprise to see me. I alone decide my fate. All right, Yasuo gets stunned here, which is cool. Company makes the journey go faster. Let's put on Gwen. If only she could see me. Oh crap, what the hell am I doing? Why the hell did I bring on Gwen? It's not an attacking turn. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I wasn't sure what the hell I was doing. Uh, let's pass the turn then. Oh my god. My apologies. I made a mistake there, a terrible mistake. But at least we circumvented the attack because, you know, the AI knows that it can't kill us. Okay, that's still good. So I guess we're going to bring it on for real this time. Alright, cool. We'll attack for real now. It is alright, so we are gonna attack again. Make sure Gwen is on the right. And we should get some good damage here. Oh, it's on. oh there we go. Uh, unless it recalls us, of course. Oh man. Terrain here is opinionated. Alright, it's cool, it's cool. What we can do is... Let's end the round. We just have to stall out for the next turn, it's fine. Alright, we'll bring on the Scuttle guys here. Now we've got the upper hand. Let's put this guy here, we'll put the LeBlanc... We'll not put the LeBlanc there. Uh, we'll do the bloody business and we will kill this guy. That way we take as minimum damage as possible. And... That was a tree... Oh right, it's down to two mana. Okay, I thought we could bring this guy on. We'll just have to pass the turn. We'll bring on Gwen and we should win next round. My friend and I toll collectors. Does it better not have any more recalls. <laughs> no more tricks. Oh, come on. Turn back while you can. Oh, man. <laughs> so it looks like we still have to drag out the battle again. Now who's got the upper hand? No one is promised tomorrow. Or do we? Hmm. We have the overwhelm here, right? So we should be able to win, actually. Right, right, right. We should be able to win. Let's drag this 2-3 here. No, actually, we still don't get enough damage. The Hallowed isn't enough. The Hallowed only has 7 deaths. Oh, God. I guess we will drag the Yone here. At the very least, we kill it. Yeah, I, I, think, I'm, I think I can live with that. We are going to commit this. Right, so the Gwen, the Ephemeral Gwen is going to die regardless, so I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to cast the uh, Atrocity here. Uh, we'll actually take out this 11 tree with the Ephemeral Gwen just to make sure it's selected. Ephemeral, cool. Right, with this Vengeance, we'll kill the Impact Seedling. Scuttle guys. And we'll end the round. Alright, conductor of miss. 
Let's kill the Hallowed Ban again. The Ghastly Ban. I'm gonna try to speed up this battle because this is taking too long. I don't like, you know, long battles. <laughs> Alright, we'll put the 5-5 five five there. We'll put the 4-2 here. Actually, no, we'll put the 4-2 here. 3-3 three three here. And we're committed. 6-3 here, sorry. Gwen on. You cannot have any more recalls or stunts. I forbid you to have any more recalls or stunts. Okay, thank you. So we are just gonna attack with everything. Alright, cool. We still win. Right, cost reduction here would have been ideal, but we don't get that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually reroll this and see if we could get, you know, a uh, cost reduction or a power buff at least. I challenge is good, but I don't want that if I'm being honest. Uh, okay, minus one cost is not bad. In fact, that's what I want, so we're going to pick this up. And we are going to head to the power node here. Oh, we got a second stun, which is great. I'm going to pick this up for sure. And we are going to head to the shop here. So we'll take on Victor. Okay, so Boisterous Host, Undying, and LeBlanc. I think we are going to keep everything. Or let's re-roll... You know what? Let's keep everything. It's fine. Boisterous Host on. We shall sing. Dance and forget our woes. What can I say? Bring on a second one. Let's drag this guy here, and I think we'll drag this guy here, I believe. We'll keep the one with the lifesteal, just in case we need it. But I don't think we need it. <laughs> uh... We'll put on the Undying. So we can block with this guy. We'll get the regeneration, but it's fine. I know the Victor's gonna come on next turn. Still, we're gonna bring on Gwen. Oh, we get Challenger on the Ephemeral, which is great. So we can actually just drag the ephemeral victor here, uh, the victor to the ephemeral. I will not squander the great gift I've been given. All right, and we should get the win here. Now I pack a punch. Alright, so at this stage, it doesn't really matter how we rearrange the Gwen. Uh, we can put her on the far end or wherever. We, it doesn't need to be on the right of the first left attacker. Because uh, at this point, she is really overpowered, so we don't really need to, you know, be too concerned about that. However, we have an upgrade here with the Chain Best on Boisterous Host, Rasa with one tree, and Undying with a Mana Deposit. I think this is a far better upgrade, so I'm going to pick this up. Let's see what we get here at the shop. We get... And that's a plus one, plus one for each keyword. Wow, that's actually going to work really, really well with the uh, welcome gifts here. So I'm definitely going to pick this up for sure. This is an OP power. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't think we need any cards, so we're gonna leave. Let's take on Nautilus here. Mm, we're gonna reroll Chronicler, I would believe. We'll keep the LeBlanc in the Undying. Yeah, the the what what is it? The um, evolution was definitely a great pick. So we're gonna attack straight up. Right, I forgot Nautilus actually restores health whenever and whenever anyone dies. So that could be a little bit problematic. Okay, it's fine though. It's fine though. We should be able to deal with it. Just gonna have to play a little bit smart, I would say. Dying. Uh, we're gonna end the round. Yeah, let's not bring on the LeBlanc here, because the Ephemeral will just deal, will give it back one more health. Okay, let's bring on the Undying first here for this turn. Jauntus is fine. We'll bring on Gwen now. Very nice. This is a lot of damage here. Oh, we even get instant win. Cool. The KI doesn't even want to block that. <laughs> no matter their resolve, mine will be stronger. Okay, so we get another heal to the Thorn of the Rose, Ephemeral to the Phantom Butler, I don't like. Kill all units with the minus 3 cost with the Ruination. I don't know how useful this could be. Actually, it could be great on the Aurelian Sol, actually. I'm not sure if Spell Shield will be, uh, you know, negated with this. I think it should be. But uh, I think I would like to go with the Thorn of the Rose. It should be fine. Now, let's head to the Katarina here. Ready for Okay, we're gonna reroll. We're not gonna reroll anything actually. This is a good start. We'll keep everything. I have my orders. Butler on. Please. Cat's gonna come on, which is fine. Doesn't want to attack. Cool. And we should get the win here. The double stuns is actually working out really, really well. Lee Sin, it's fine. I think we should win here. The AI shouldn't block. And yes! <laughs> no matter their resolve, mine will be stronger! Alright, splendid. So let's actually... Wow, we get another doubling dice on the sapling toss. <laughs> uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're still gonna just pick it up, it's fine. Absorb Soul could be useful as well. Copy me onto the same targets. Like, you know what, I think we'll pick this up because we might need a little bit of extra health if we the Aurel and Soul battle doesn't go our way. But we'll see how it goes, so let's just go ahead and take them on. Okay, we are gonna reroll these two. I really need a Gwen here, though. Please draw us a Gwen. Oh, no. A LeBlanc. Of all the odds, we get a LeBlanc. Why? <laughs> we need a Gwen, not a LeBlanc. Uh, I guess we're gonna attack. And we'll see what blocks. Blocks the 5-5, cool. At the final battle, we get a LeBlanc. Why? Just why? 
Okay, we do get our Gwendo, which is cool. Alright, let's actually bring on the Undying first. And then we bring on the Conductor of Mist here. Okay, I'm gonna bring on Gwen here. I think I'd like to hear something lively. Very well, madam. Key of seeing everyone. Perfect. What a joy. Oh man, it stuns us. But I think it should still be fine, right? I hope so. I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that stun if I'm gonna be frank. I think it should still be fine. Okay, it's not exactly, you know, good damage, but it should still be okay. Galio. This is bad, because the Galio will deal a lot of damage here. Let's bring on the boisterous host, or actually no, we might use the LeBlanc to sacrifice. Uh, no, let's not do that first. Let's bring on the host. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. I'm concerned about the obliterate here, because you must remember that's a possibility, a definite possibility. Uh, we have to put these. We have to put something to block the Galio for sure. We definitely have to put something to block this guy as well. I'll put it here. Put a 7-5 here, I believe. Actually, what we can do is we can play Tread the Nido. We kill this guy, we deal enough damage to take out this guy. Right, and the Aurelian Soul doesn't get the buff as well. Okay, cool. That's smart playing here, I would say. Smart tactics. <laughs> Let's put on the Ghastly Ban. Oh crap, I forgot the Galio has the rally. Oh lord. Um okay, okay. We we can still manage this. This is still under control. This is still under control. Let's put this guy here. Or do we put this guy here? Uh yeah, we take less damage that way, but the Aurelian Soul gets the Fury buff. I think it should still be fine, however, I think. At least we take less damage that way. We stall out the turn a little bit. Scuttle guys on. Wonder at my creations. Now they'll pay attention. We'll bring on the Gwen. It's gonna obliterate, I believe. Uh, no. Living Legends. It's probably gonna obliterate. Oh, it does not. Okay, so looks like we get an attack here. Which is fine, which is fine. That means we can attack again and we should get the win, I believe. You bastard. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> um, it's okay, we can we can bring on the Gwen again. Alright, so we're just gonna resolve that. We just have to stall out the turn. That's all we need to do. We need to stall out the turn. You cheeky bastard. Which is fine. This isn't gonna do anything. Uh, let's bring on the Gwen here. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to put the 5-4 onto the Galio. We'll put the 8-8 eight, eight here. We will take the 9 damage, which is fine. Uh, actually, what we can do is we can actually strike this guy and... No, that's Spell Shield. Okay. So we can't do anything with that. Uh, we can actually kill the Anivia here, right? Yes, we can. Okay, we'll do that. At the very least, we kill the Anivia.
Alright, we should get the win here if all goes well. Alright guys, as you can see, that is the run complete. So Gwen is obviously a really good champion to bring into Aurelian Sol. She is strong and of course she is able to lifesteal efficiently. Uh, that means her survivability is really, really good in this particular run. So yeah, I highly recommend using Gwen if you can. Um, I won't lie, this run could have gone so much faster. I know it's already a one hour long video. I really apologize on the length. I would prefer shorter videos just as much as you. But uh, yeah, this video could have gone much better if I actually played a little bit better in the Karma battle, in the Yasuo battle, as well as in the Caitlyn battle. Um, I was a little bit sloppy in those three. I will not deny that. So I really apologize for the resulting length of this episode. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. Really do appreciate your support here. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player playthroughs or content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kefla signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for joining me as well. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.